Hey, Sonny, could I have a dollar? Sure, why? I just need to burn some cash. Okay, whatever. Thank you. Hey, Sonny, look at this. What are you doing? What? 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 Why are you doing this? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I was burning some cash. Oh my god. Here's your dollar back. Didn't you just burn this? Well, let me explain to you. First, I soaked the dollar very well into a mixture of alcohol and water. This is because the alcohol serves as the main fuel for the fire. And then, when the fire generates more heat, it's not enough to catch the water-soaked dollar on fire. This is why the, the actual dollar doesn't get on fire, but the alcohol around it does. To burn paper, the required temperature is 451 degrees Fahrenheit. Because we mix the water and the alcohol, the temperature never really gets up there because of the water absorbing all the heat. If we don't add the water at all, both the alcohol and the bill will catch on fire. That's how I pranked Sanvi. You can also prank your friends too. Oh. Hi guys, my name is Sri Teja and today uh, we are here with my friend Sanvi. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm really excited for whatever we're doing today. Yeah, me too. So today we're going to be doing a bunch of fire experiments, as you can see. And yeah, let's get into it. Did you know that fire is chemistry in action? Fire is a type of chemical reaction called combustion. One thing that makes combustion reactions special and sometimes dangerous is that they are self-sustaining. A fire keeps on burning as long as it has three things, fuel, heat, and oxygen. Fuel is a thing that burns like wood, paper, or gasoline. Second, heat. Yes, fire makes heat, but it also needs heat in order to burn. Third, oxygen. It's all in the air. So for the first experiment, as you can see, we've already set it up. We need to have, we need to light a match uh, and light this candle, which we already did. Then we take this cotton swab and we put it in the fire and see what happens. As you can see, the cotton swab is on fire and I'm going to put it out. Whoa, and as you can see, it's black now and the cotton swab used to be white, like this. Now, Swanby, do you want to do um, the second part? So now, let's dip a second um, cotton swab and put it in methanol and see what happens. Oh my god, this cap is so hard. Okay, now let's dip it in the methanol. Swanby, would you like to do that? And then we put it in the fire. Whoa, that's so cool. It's not turning black. Yeah, it's not turning black, which is weird. So Sanvi, how come this cotton swab was black and this cotton swab is white? It looks perfectly new. Well, I think that it's because that for a fire, for something to burn, it needs three things, heat, fuel, and oxygen. In this cotton swab, cotton was the fuel, while in this one, methanol was the fuel. So this means that the methanol burned, leaving the cotton underneath untouched. Oh, so that's why. I think it was really interesting that the methanol burned and it didn't even, the fire didn't even touch the cotton. Yeah, that was also really interesting for me. Let's move on to experiment number two. So for experiment number two, we have an alcohol burner here, and Sanvi is going to light it on fire. Oh yeah, okay, that's a big fire. Wait a minute, it looks like it's on fire, but I don't see a fire. Let's turn off the lights. Whoa, now you can see the fire, but it's not red or orange. In fact, it's purple, or it's even blue. That's so cool. What do you think, Sanvi? That's really cool, and it's crackling a lot. Yeah, I don't know why. But for this experiment, let's put this jar over the alcohol burner and let's see what happens. And... Whoa, the fire went out and it released some sort of foggy thing. 
So, Shirtasia, why do you think that happened? Well, when we put the jar over the fire, we limited the fire of its oxygen supply. So when it used up all its oxygen, it didn't have any left. And all of the matter inside the jar got converted into water and carbon dioxide. So what would happen if we used a bigger jar? Well, let's try. Okay, now we put the bigger jar over the fire and let's see what happens. And it doesn't seem to be going out just yet, but if you see closely, the fire's slowly going out. Which is creating a lot of fog. Yeah, it's creating a lot of fog. And it's creating so much fog that we can't even see the fire. And now the fire's out. That's so cool. So, since it's a bigger jar, it had a larger oxygen supply still left because there's more space, which means it burned for longer. For me, that was really interesting to see, but I got really nervous when I put the jar over the fire because I didn't think it was gonna go out. What do you think, Sonny? I felt the same way. Also, I thought that it went out pretty quickly, yeah. even with that jar, so it's interesting that it shows how much oxygen a fire uses. So where does the oxygen go? It goes through a chemical reaction with the fuel and it is transformed into something else. For example, carbon dioxide and water. That's so cool. Let's move on to experiment number three. So Shatasia, this has been really fun so far. So what's the next experiment? So for the next experiment, we are going to be creating a vacuum. How? Well, let me show you. But first, let's add food color into the water. So just a few drops, otherwise we'll, the color will be way too strong. So, one, two, three. Whoa, that's so cool. I'm always mesmerized by food coloring. It's so cool. Now let's mix it. So, let's start making a vacuum. So, we will need to put um, this water in the rim of the alcohol burner. So, let's do that right now and we just need to fill up the orange spikes. So, right now. That's good. Then, Sandi, do you want to light up the match? Sure. Let's see what happens when we put the jar over the fire. Okay. Oh my God, it just popped. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's, it's making a noise. And it's like suction. Oh, it, wow. it, for a while, it was like sticking to it. So that's so cool. So Songbi, what actually happened in this, in this experiment? So, since there was water inside and we lit this, there was heat and so the heat turned the water into gas. And so then the gas wanted to expand, which created pressure. That's oh. what created the vacuum. Oh, I get it now. That's really interesting. That's really, really cool. So, that's all the time we have for today. How'd you like the experiments, Zombie? They were really cool and I learned a lot about fire. Yeah, I also learned way more than like I would know about fire. And also, like the experiments were so cool. Like, yeah, it was really pretty also. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shatasia, can I have $20? $20? I mean, Okay, here you go. I Thanks. Guess. Sandy, what are you doing? That's $20. Well, I'm just... <laughs> Burning some cash. <laughs>